Good evening. You're watching the late news on HKIBC. I'm Raymond Young. Here are tonight's top stories. Financial Secretary tells business sector not to worry about government's proposal to amend extradition laws. Vice Commerce Minister optimistic about reaching a trade deal with the US. And massive power outage in Venezuela continues into second day. Financial Secretary Paul Chan has told Hong Kong's business sector not to worry about the government's proposed amendments to extradition laws, as the city's independent judiciary would prevent abuses of the law. Yupin reports. The business sector has joined Pan Democrats in opposing the government's proposal to amend the city's extradition laws. The policy change would allow fugitives in Hong Kong to be transferred to the mainland, Taiwan or Macau. Several pro-establishment lawmakers representing the business sector have expressed reservations about the amendments. They were worried local business people could be extradited to the mainland for inadvertently breaking the law there, such as the complex tax laws. Even international business interests have voiced their opposition. In a letter submitted to Security Secretary John Lee on Thursday, the American Chamber of Commerce expressed its serious reservation to the proposal. It also claimed that the mainland legal system was often abused to criminalize what are essentially commercial disputes between foreign and local business interests. Speaking on a radio program today, Financial Secretary Paul Chen said it was too early to say what the amendment would mean to Hong Kong's business sector. He insisted that the city's judicial independence would protect against abuses of the amended extradition law. The justification for the extradition must be something, uh, must be an act that is considered to be criminal in both uh, Hong Kong and the jurisdiction where this act is committed. The Hong Kong court would be uh, the gatekeeper and there are full right of appeal uh, for the individual concerned. Chen said the security chief would explain the matter more in the future in order to remove any misunderstanding. Meanwhile, the U.S.-China Economic and Security Review Commission has suggested the U.S. Congress review the Hong Kong Policy Act. The act allows Washington to treat Hong Kong separately from mainland China on trade and economic control matters since the 1997 handover. The U.S. State Department is expected to deliver its annual Hong Kong Policy Act report later this year. But there are concerns that the U.S. may cancel the act if it believes Beijing is tightening its grip on the city. When asked if he believed Hong Kong could survive without the act, Chen urged the public not to speculate. For us in Hong Kong, we have, over the past decades, uh, gone through a lot of different challenges. Uh, we are very resilient we will be able to rise to any challenge. Yupinam, HKIBC. Eight people were injured after a minibus crashed into a private car in Sham Shui Po at around midnight. Police said a red minibus was travelling from Yunlong to Jordan when it smashed into a seven-seater as it approached Lai Chi Kwok Road near Sham Shui Po Police Station. Both drivers and six minibus passengers suffered injuries to their heads and arms. Officers did not rule out one of the drivers jumping a red light, but they were still looking into the matter. No arrests have been made so far. A 48-year-old doctor has been arrested for allegedly consuming cannabis while on duty. The associate consultant at Tun Moon Hospital's emergency ward left the station at 11 p.m. on Tuesday, one hour earlier than scheduled. He was unreachable by his colleagues. The doctor returned at midnight and was said to be behaving strangely. His colleagues were worried that he was sick and suggested he get a blood and urine test. The tests returned positive for cannabis. The doctor has been released on bail pending further investigations. At the mainland's largest political event of the year, Vice Commerce